Hey guys, it's JL Fishing TV back at it again. Uh, today I'm gonna be fishing with uh, Guggen Baits Trench Hog, uh, color uh, black blue flake, and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on these. All right, I'm rigging it up. As you can see, I got a quarter ounce bullet weight sinker. I'm a Texas rig it. Uh, so what you're gonna want to do is insert it up top, kind of in the center, or as much as in the center you can, and then you're gonna want to poke it out like that and uh yeah just do one of these spin a roonies and um the here's the here's the main part of a good text rig is the roll you're gonna just want to roll it and until it stops you're just gonna want to poke it in through there just like that and then go to, to go completely weedless you just tuck it in barely just enough so the tip isn't out exposed and uh, it's not going to catch weeds like that, but if a bass bites, boom, hook exposed. So now put it in. And uh, for these, you got to make sure you rip off the appendages because they're also connected. And that will definitely affect the action you'll get in the water. All right, so I forgot my chest mount. Rookie mistake. But um, yeah, let's go take this in the water. Well, guys, uh, I just caught my first fish on this trench hog. Uh, I don't have a chest mount, so I don't know how I'm going to do this. I might have to... I have to turn the camera off and uh, unhook it, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna check out the damage to the bait to see how how good the plastic is. All right, guys. So here's the fish I just caught with the trench hog. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty healthy fish. It's probably just a pound and two ounces, maybe. But uh, yeah, this is a little below average for our pond. Our pond's usually average around two to two pounds and a half. So uh, yeah, second fish, not even half a pound. This is probably, I'd say like 0.6 ounces maybe. But uh, yeah, he's healthy. He's a little bleeding, that's, that's where I hooked him. But uh, yeah, he should be doing pretty good. I'm gonna release him. And uh, let's let's check out the damage on the trench hog. Um, from what I can see, it's still pretty good. I guess I was wrong about the plastic. The plastic, for it being really soft, actually holds up pretty well. Um, but yeah, what I did notice and what I like about it is that if uh, these anglers can uh, understand is sometimes when you set the hook on a fish, this spot right there, likes to tear off and what I've done before is just bite it off and just rehook it because look you still got maybe half an inch you could hook back so uh yeah hey guys so I was just walking down the bank and uh it's been really hot the past couple of weeks and uh what I noticed is we have animal tracks uh there seems to be deer deer tracks you can see right there there's a deer track there's a deer track there's deer track. There's deer track. So uh, we we do have deers. Uh, the first video I showed you, we had a uh, we had at least three deers hop over the fence. But uh, yeah, there seems to be either a lot of deer or they just walk down the um down the bank in the mud. But uh, yeah, I'll keep y'all posted to to see what see what else we catch. Uh, so far, uh, Guggen trench hog two for two. I've had two bites. I've set the hook twice. Uh, landed both of them, but uh, yeah. Uh, time check is. Let me put the rod down. I forgot the, forgot the chest mount again. Not again, but you know, you you get the idea, right? Yeah. So uh, time check. It is ten or not ten, five twenty one. So uh, about a ten minute average right now. Uh, between fish, not the best, but can't complain it's also late in the day so the fish aren't that active not yet at least but uh yeah i'll let y'all know if i catch another one i just hooked on another fish there's the other fish oh i was reeling it back in there early was right by the bank not even two feet from the bank he's a tiny little guy but uh yeah that's fish number two for the trench hog can't complain fish is a fish i'm gonna have to put y'all down to unhook it because i forgot my chest mount uh yeah fish number three this is maybe a little bit bigger a little bit bigger 
Uh, this one's a little lot skinny, like compared to the head. I don't know if y'all can see it, but uh, yeah, this one isn't that healthy. It's not eating as much as it should. Uh, there's the belly, so y'all can see it's pretty skinny. But it's time to release. And now let's review the trench hog. Um, that one really didn't fight, but as you can see, it did. It did bring out the the trench hog, as you can see. This part is supposed to be all the way up here, but uh, I don't see any tears on it. So uh, surprisingly, it's doing well. It's three for three. I haven't lost any, but uh, yeah, I'll keep y'all posted. I'll let's do another time check for y'all, so y'all know I'm not lying. Five twenty-four. Literally three minutes since the last one, but uh, yeah, I'll keep y'all posted. It's doing pretty good. Uh, that's fish number three. So I'm welcome back to retrieve my my arsenal of baits, but uh, I'm walking on the bridge, right? We have ourselves a little standoff. So uh, why don't you say we give them a little chase? Nah, they don't get scared anymore by me. Uh, they're really friendly. We do I do that to them every now and then. Just uh, just see if they get uh, just get scared just a little bit, just just for humor. But uh, yeah, they're not they're not getting scared of me anymore. I might have to put on a uh, Bigfoot costume or something to scare them. Uh, but yeah, that concludes today's video. I haven't caught anything in 10 minutes. Uh, it's getting late and I'm really hot and exhausted. But uh, yeah, overall the trench hog. Uh, I I changed my mind. I think it it's a pretty good bang for your buck. Uh, I caught three fish, landed all three, the bait was still intact, there was no tears in it whatsoever, the hook still sat fine, um, but yeah, the action was great, uh, changed my mind, I'd give it, at a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a, give it a 7, I'd give the bandito bug probably a 9.5, uh, you're probably thinking 9.5, yeah, 9.5, uh, 10 is just like the most perfect standard out there, and uh, I haven't found one yet. But uh, yeah, the bandito bug's definitely up there. Trench hog, a little bit below, but uh, it's still above the five. But uh, yeah, just in case y'all are wondering, this is where I fish at, right here. Right there. It's roughly three, three acres. But uh, yeah, you might be wondering why is that under a tarp? Uh, we brought it back one day. One, or, yeah, we brought it back here one day. And, uh, yeah, it was sitting up there in the garage. We brought it all down that downhill, up the bridge, up here. And we just got plain lazy and just decided to leave it there and put it at a tarp. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we have some plans for that. We're thinking about, um, I don't know. We're thinking about doing something with it. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed and, uh, let me know what else I could do. If y'all want to see me do something else besides fishing, like just showing y'all a day in the life, I guess, or uh, just anything else, challenges, I'm down to anything. We could do forfeits. Uh, I have two sisters, just in case y'all were wondering. But uh, yeah, I definitely could do challenges with them. I have a couple buddies. I could do challenges with them. I just gotta, you know, give them a quick call. But uh, yeah, let me know. Until next time.